Hey all, it's Charity and I'm here with a look at how I, air quotes here, convert my Epson to a sublimation printer. Um, this is a replacement, so what you're seeing is the actual unboxing. They give you a power cord, they give you sets of ink. Um, you're about to witness me trying to convince my husband that we need to pull it with the paper on. And it's easier, in fact. Um, Y'all gonna have to excuse the way we're looking, more so me, because this was just excitement, spur of the moment, and then it was like, hey, I might as well record this again because the first time was pretty rough. I know what to expect, yada, yada. Um, tons of this tape. Your machine will keep going off if you have not removed every single piece of this blue tape. Um, so yeah, make sure you remove all of that. Speeding through this, it's removed. At this point, I'm plugging it up. Hey, all this charity, and I'm here to walk you through a process. Hopefully, it's a simple process. I've only had to do it twice now. Um, this will actually be the first time I'm using, I guess you would say, recycled carts. This is what I use with my old machine. However, um, it messed up with some type of paper jam thingamajigger so this is how it's on when you first plug it in i'm gonna push english usa um it's about to be i mean it's summer i guess date it's 2020 lord um uh, okay. oh it's like um dang 2020 is like the 29th. Oh, so you want to know the, um, it's about to be July. So it's 06. Like 29, I think. Mm -mm. You know what time it is? Hopefully, I won't have to do my like reinstall soon. Install the ink that came with the printer. breakfast okay so it says install the ink that came with this printer um i'm not going to do that i'm using the ink that i intend on using this is the dreaded and the super big and crazy scary converting your printer that you hear about in relation to sublimation. I put that in, I'm gonna go get each one, one by one, and, and put them in. Um, most ink systems are literally the same. Uh, when it comes to like, I think the conversion, and I do this conversion process, You hear it snap, you snap it again. These carts so far have been good to me. So hopefully it does the same. Okay, it's thinking about things. Put 
processing. Let's see, it says this takes about six minutes. We'll see. If need be, I'll speed through this. Um, or I'll just cut it off while it's thinking and pop back on when there's something to see. I'm actually a little nervous to just cut you guys off because anything can literally happen. Hopefully this is the best case scenario. Praying about it, been waiting on this printer. Um, yeah, it's moving pretty quick. So I'm gonna step away. Okay, cannot recognize ink. Try to install again, which is saying the magenta. So that's what we're gonna do. Try it again, that's all you can do. And it's going to say that um, I didn't even get to connect it to Wi-Fi and stuff yet. Okay, this is what it will say. You have not installed Genuine Ink. You just press OK. Proceed. Yes, continue. And this will do this from time to time um, throughout the use of your machine for sublimation purposes. Um, when that happens, it typically hits all of them. Like, be, you see magentas happening. I wouldn't be surprised if later on down the line, the other three, or kind of immediately the other three, say, hey, you have not installed Epson Ink. Like, they've been fine to this point, but it's something about that that maybe triggers them. So, we'll see. I'm glad I didn't cut the camera off so soon, but... We'll see, we're moving, we're moving through. And all you can do is accept it and you know, sometimes take it out, put it back in. Um, I think on rare occasions, you may have a faulty chip, which that will be something you have to take up with the person you got the cartridges from. Um, that has not been my experience in sublimation. And so far everything has been good until this little paper jam mishap. Um, I don't know if you know, but when I use the Craft and Besties paper, I do have to enter it uh, one at a time. And it tends to be very iffy and wants to jam in one way or for one reason or another. It um, just starts saying paper jam and there was nothing in there. So um, I am also eager to try the popping paper again. I did a quick head-to-head. Uh, with that simply because um, I'm getting low on crafting besties paper and I was you know I'm trying to work on using smaller pieces of paper being more versatile because having to design something in a quick amount of time to fill up space in order to eliminate wasting paper was like work on top of work like you have to think in advance about what you could do or so it was just a lot so I used I got popping paper in like I think it's called A3 which is almost 11 by 17 um, again people have done good things with it I think I just need to uh, work on the heat settings that work for that particular paper now for me it's not ideal to have to um, you know readjust my heat settings because they've been fine thus far but I'm, I mean, I've made the purchase at this point. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to find the best. And, like, if that's the issue, then it's not the paper or anything. Like, it's simply on me. So, we'll see. Um, testing it out. Hoping things go well. Um, we're almost done. I'm excited, y'all. I've I have not had my machine the whole weekend. And that is... 
um, that was hard. I had orders coming in left and right, and it's kind of like, hey, yeah. Uh, which you have to account for that in business. You have to be very upfront and honest about what's going on with you. Um, COVID has done a lot of things for suppliers and people like that that we use. Um, just everyday things, just like, a, just even if it's a tiny strain, and here we go. You can't recognize the black. Okay. Again, not surprised that that was something that would happen. And all I can do is open it up and put it back in until I hear it click. That's really all you can do. So we'll see. We'll see. And it's going to say, Dear, 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 you have not installed genuine Epson ink. Okay. Proceed. This is basically, that was basically saying, uh, Hey, we're not responsible um, for mishaps that result in using this ink, blah, blah, blah. So, we're almost done. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised now if the other two do the same. But as you saw on the thing, magenta was recognized and red is full. Um, that part might not be on point just yet. Um, like I said, that was in my old machine. So, yeah. Oh, and I, for I totally forgot that I'm about to have to do like some just random waste printing to get the ink to come through and yada 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 it's a process i literally forgot i'm thinking like just pop it in and go we'll see hopefully everything's gonna be smooth either way i'll let you know basically we're almost done getting close to the end If you can't read it says please wait do not power do not turn the power off until initialization is complete so this takes about six minutes which looking at my machine I don't know we, we've we probably hit that And guys, people use words like converting your machine to, I feel like, intimidate people and somewhat feel fancy and just, I don't know. Because it's, it's, it's so simple to say, hey, you just use different ink or use different ink cartridges that have different ink in them. You know, or you know what I'm saying? You get refillable cartridges, like. I don't know where this whole conversion thing came from. Um, again, luckily my first encounter with this was super smooth and easy. But I'm just like, why are people using the terminology conversion and conversion kits? And like, it just felt way bigger than it needed to be. It was much more scarier than it needed to be. And I don't know if that's for... You know, if that comes from people in the industry trying to, like, scare people off and, you know what I'm saying? Because I do understand how markets get saturated, but within any industry, it's about you. Your level of creativity, the customer service you provide, things like that. Like, quality work. Like, the work speaks for itself. So, you can always think of things to do and evolve and stand out. But whatever you choose to do, it needs to be good. It says initialization complete. So I'm going to close that. Paper size and type. Uh, I'm probably, yeah, I'm just going to use the presets, which is um, to start facts. This is about doing facts. No. Yes, remind me later. Cool. So I am going to plug up to Wi-Fi, which this right here, this is it. This is, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, 
Yeah, so at this point, this is where you set up your, you know, you get on your computer and you are, I don't know what that is or anything like that. Actually, this is what I mean. Um, so not to show our business, but this is where you begin to, um, put your information in, select your Wi-Fi, yada, yada, yada. And yada 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 i'm not sure the password so i will be back um but that was pretty much it my machine is converted i'll show you how the printing goes sometimes it takes a lot of test prints and things like that to get the ink to come out and a lot of um nozzle head cleanings and things like that to get it going but really if you've made it to this point you're good. This the other stuff is about a lot of registering and um I'ma just hit the remind me later. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi first and foremost, because I'm not about to be coming back here plugging up to this big boy. But that was basically it guys, like literally a done deal. Um I'll be back to show you my first prints and how that goes and what you may have to do. All right, y'all. Bye.